this is the first viewing of this model of machine from Yamazaki Mazak in the UK. Just tell us about it and what it is. Well, it's the Multiplex W200Y. So it's a twin spindle, twin turret uh, machine, particularly suited for machining forgings and um, blanks. Uh, it's a very compact footprint and more than half of them have uh, an integrated gantry loader and pallet load system. Uh, what's the innovation? What's new? What's different? The particular innovation, we've been building the, the multiplex for something like 30 odd years now, but this is a totally new model. Uh, it's the same principles, but it's got a brand new slant bed to improve uh, coolant flow and chip uh, access. Uh, one key feature is the smooth G control which has got many advanced features uh, with the rest of our smooth technology range. Another key new feature is the smooth mill drive uh, driven tool turret. All 12 stations can be driven. Uh, it features an integrated motor, which is less vibration, more power, and better quality parts. Okay, we'll come back to smooth in a minute, because I know that's an integral part of uh, Yamazaki Mazak's development. Firstly, the machine itself, the, the door in the middle, What's that about? Um, it, we call it a central partition. Uh, you can separate the left-hand side from the right-hand side of the machine, or you can uh, have the door open and actually transfer part from spindle to spindle. So you can use it as a fully integrated two-spindle machine, or you can use it as two separate individual spindle machines. My, my first opinion and thoughts when I looked at this machine was exactly that. Is this then capable of running two different, completely different jobs yes, or work? Pieces? It can run two completely different programs. So there's two sets of uh, switches here for the, the left hand side and the right hand side. So it's completely compatible with running two different problem, uh, so you, programs. So you kind of got machine one and machine two? Yes, or you can link them together to make a, um, an OP10, OP20 type operation. Now it, it might be obvious to some, but for those that it's not, what's, what's the advantage of being able to do that? Uh, reduced cycle time, more flexibility, uh, the way the machine is configured as well, the actual footprint of the machine is smaller than a comparable uh, twin spindle, twin turret machine. Uh, we offer a machine where the left hand spindle is fixed in one position and the turrets move back and forth in Z. This is the reverse way where the actual heads move in Z. So okay, because I was thinking twin turret, twin spindle, that that's similar to this, but I'm, I'm hearing that actually because we've got the partition in the middle gives you that more flexibility, it's correct? More flexibility as well, and it's particularly suited for um, chucking and uh, flange type components. Right, now with the spindles, when, you, when you're machining parts like that, you need, you need plenty of oomph and plenty of yeah. power. Have, have you got that on both spindles here? Yes, we've got the same 22 kilowatts uh, on both uh, head one and head two. Now we've got a gantry load in this machine, and I think you said at the start over half the machines are sold with a gantry. Do you, can you sell them with bar feeds as well? Yes, we can. Um, it's probably not best suited for a bar feed. We would suggest the hyperquadrex for that type of application. But uh, some customers, yes, do use them with bar feeds. Now, also the slant bed. Tell me about that. What's the advantages with what's written here? You've got a wedge bed design for improved chip flow. That, uh, the W on the, the, the door there stands for the wedge bed con construction. Uh, so it's a, a steeply raked bed to improve uh, chip flow. On the previous models, um, the chip flow wasn't as good because we had a, a flat bed. This is a new, totally new slant bed. And with the axes on these machine, have these turrets got Y-axis on both sides? Yes. Uh, you can have it without Y-axis, but this particular model has got Y-axis on, on both. And then, then coming on to the smooth control elements or, the, or, or smooth functions, just elaborate on the turret. You, you talked about power and speed. Uh, yes, the turret has a, um, a new integrated spindle uh, drive for the tooling. Uh, our previous turrets had a, a belt drive, which introduces, can introduce vibration. Um, but this new turret, we can have uh, 5,000 RPM and 5.5 kilowatts. Uh, the tool change time as well from milling cutter to milling cutter is, is less than the previous turret as well. And where does smooth fit into that then? Is it all part of the software? Well, it's part of smooth technology. We've got smooth G control, we've got the smooth axis drives, we've got the smooth mill drive for the turret. 
So are Mazak paying a lot of attention here on this machine to the power and the performance on the milling aspect on the turret as well? Uh, yes, that, that you, you could say that. That's, that's a key part of the, uh, the process. And finally, on, on the tooling on, on these, John, what are we talking, a 12-station turret on either side? 12-station, uh, all options uh, driving all 12 tools. And then the diameter of the chucks that we've got here, uh, what's this? It's an normally a, a 200 millimeter 18-inch chuck machine, uh, 65 mil bar capacity if you need that. And as, a, as a, a viewer, I might look at this and think, great idea in principle, but I need a bigger one. Do they come bigger yeah, than the we, 200? We do bigger ones as well. All right, very innovative. Thank you, John. Thank you very much.